How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you guys a few tips that help you use the Tor browser more safely. So number one, you're going to use the latest version of the Tor browser. So make sure that you go to torproject.org forward slash download and use the latest version so that you can have the latest security fixes and features. The second thing you want to do is, well, go to your Tor browser, go to uh, settings right here and go to privacy and security and make sure that this option is ticked on right here. So delete cookies and site data when the Tor browser is closed. Also go all the way down and make sure that the always use private browsing mode is on. Uh, also in terms of security level, you can go all the way up to safest and this will only allow website features required for static sites. Now you can enable JavaScript only when necessary because some websites may require JavaScript to function properly, but enabling it can also potentially expose you to security vulnerabilities. And so unless you need JavaScript, stay on the safest option and also block dangerous and deceptive content block dangerous downloads as well. So this way you can have all of these security measures uh, kind of taken care of in the settings before you engage in the Tor browser. Okay, so the third thing is avoid downloading files while using the Tor browser because downloading files can potentially reveal your IP address. So it's best to avoid doing so while using Tor. Now, if you want to download something, first of all, make sure that you're and you have your Windows firewall or some kind of firewall also active uh, and change your IP address and use a VPN in conjunction with Tor because a VPN can add an extra layer of security by encrypting your internet traffic before it enters the Tor network. Uh, and of course, the Tor browser is associated with the dark web, which is also associated with illicit activities. So I would recommend that you uh, change your IP address so that your ISP won't be able to tell that you're connected to the dark web or the Tor browser in the first place. So definitely use a VPN. Now, if you're wondering which VPN is the best, because there are too many in the market out there, I went ahead and tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs and your own specific needs and preferences and budget, of course. All right, so the fifth thing is just be generally more cautious when clicking and navigating on links on the Tor browser. Um, only click on links from sources that you trust. Be especially wary of links that ask you to download something or enter personal information. And the final tip for today is use strong, unique passwords for all of your accounts on the dark web or the Tor browser. It is important to use strong, unique passwords for all of your accounts to protect against password cracking and other types of cyber attacks. So consider using a password manager to generate and store strong, unique passwords for all of your accounts. And by the way, NordVPN does come with a password manager. If you go for the package that gives you a password manager, if I uh, let's just go to nordvpn.com. And if we go to grab the deal, by the way, if you're interested in a better deal than this, that'll give you an extra month. You'll find it in the description down below. OK, so we have the password manager right here. So the cross platform password manager, it does not come with the standard version. Uh, so if you're looking for it, you're going to have to at least go with the plus version and you will also get the data breach scanner. But if you're interested in also getting the one terabyte of encrypted cloud, you can go for the complete version. Uh, so that is pretty much it. And by the way, you also get three extra uh, security features that could help you with uh, accessing the Tor browser or when engaging or when interacting with websites in the Tor browser. The first thing is uh, threat protection. Now this will block malicious websites, but it will also protect your device from infected files, acting like a bit of a mini antivirus. The dark web monitor will search for leaked data, link to your email address, passwords, contacts, or any other personal details. And finally, you have the onion over VPN, uh, which is going to be pretty helpful if you want to maximize your anonymity while using the Tor browser. So that is pretty much it for this video. And again, if you're interested in Nord, uh, Express, or Surfshark, you'll find links to pricing discounts as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them in the description down below. And either way, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can just get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.